Hey my blessed naturals, today I'm going to show you how to do cornrows in a puff and also how to stretch natural hair with rubber bands. So here I have parted my hair from ear to ear with my crooked parts, <laughs> but it's okay. So here I'm just smoothing down my edges with some edge control and brushing it with toothbrush and now I'm spraying my hair with water and I'm just going to start corn rolling my hair down towards my ear. Now my hair was freshly washed and it is damp. So now I'm going to the other side. And doing the same thing. Now I'm just spraying my the back of my hair with water, and I am using the Aunt Jackie's Not on My Watch She Tangling Therapy, which I love. It instantly makes my hair soft. I'm also using the Cantu Creamy Hair Lotion or Curl Activator Cream, I should say. But I always I, I switch between that and the Creamy Hair Lotion. So I'm just gonna part, do a horizontal part in the back. And I'm using um, rubber bands to stretch my hair. Now, a lot of people don't like to use rubber bands because they can cause breakage, um, but if you don't make them too tight, they can work for you. So here you see that I'm just smoothing out my hair with the fine tooth comb, and then I'm taking one rubber band and putting it at the base of the section of hair, and then I'm going to leave about an inch and a half maybe, and then put the rubber band right before you get to the end so that my hair can dry this way it'll it will dry in a stretch stretch state so I'm gonna do it again Let's comb out the section of here and then um, use the rubber band at the base. And then I'm gonna get another rubber band and put it right before you get to the end. Now if your hair is longer, you can use ponytail holders, which I used to use um, before I cut my hair. But either one is fine. Um, you can also do threading a lot of people like to do that and that's like an age-old um, type of uh, technique so now here's how your hair will look and yes I forgot to put on my scarf so my edges <laughs> are a mess so just forgive me <laughs> so here I'm just removing the rubber bands from my hair and I'm slowing it down because I want you guys to see like how my hair looks kind of when I um, remove removed the rubber bands So it's kind of like crinkly. Now I usually just break the bands off my hair. It's just easier. And then I don't have to worry about um, them getting tangled at the ends of my hair. Having a little trouble with that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Now once I'm finished with removing the rubber bands, I'm going to just add coconut oil because my hair is basically moisturized from the day before. So just gonna use coconut oil. And kind of pick out the roots so I can hide my parts. And now I'm using a hair tie to create a puff. And then just tucking the, the ends underneath using bobby pins to tuck my braids in. And it's sticking out on one side. <laughs> And that is it. So here is my finished style. You can go ahead and visit www.oneblessnatural.com for all your natural hair information and also root these greetings.